Hi everyone. Uh, so today we are going to discuss the radio frequency allocation. So radio frequency uh, uh, signals are useful in wireless communication when we are uh, are not using wires. So for example, in in the case of uh, cellular communication where we have the mobile handsets, and these mobile handsets actually uh, are, are connected with the towers, so like BTS. And they, in between them, they don't have wires, but they are using the wireless medium. Exactly in the same way, like in Wi-Fi, we have some access point and we get connected with access point using wireless medium, without wires. Exactly in the same way, we also have this satellite. So these all communications are possible with the help of radio frequency signals. And those all radio frequency signals have frequency and frequency means the number of cycles per second. So these are the number of, these are the cycles. So in one second, how many cycles are going to occur? This is known as frequency. So in terms of frequency, these all uh, signals can be divided into various categories. So we are going to, um, and they have been allocated. So these frequencies have been allocated for different applications and they have uh, different names. We are going to discuss them in this slide. So the first frequency that is means uh, uh, up to 300 Hertz. It means the frequencies which are 300 Hertz means 300 cycles in one second. So we can have a radio signal, radio frequency signal whose frequency will can be up to 300 Hertz, one Hertz, two Hertz, three Hertz, but up to 300 Hertz are the frequencies and these frequencies are known as extremely low frequency. And then next category we have that is uh, as of voice frequencies and the frequency range for those kind of frequency is 300 hertz to 3 kilohertz. So the frequency starting from this to this range, those frequencies are known as voice frequencies. And as an example, the uh, audio frequency of a male is between 85 to 100 hertz. There may be minor variations, but this is the range of the uh, of the signal which we actually when we talk we also are going to create some signals some waves and those uh, the, those waves has a frequency range from 85 to 180 and in case of female so in case of female what we have we have this 165 to 255 so you can see the frequency range is different in in male as well as well as in female so you can see the female frequency range is a bit higher than the male frequency range. And this is the reason that the, uh, the voice of females are a bit sharper. So the frequency content in the voice is, is more than the male voice signal. So this is the voice frequency. And then we have the uh, range, the so frequency range from three kilohertz to 30 kilohertz. So remember three kilohertz means kilo means three zeros. So kilo means we just put three zeros here. So three kilohertz means 3000 hertz. So from 3000 to 30 kilohertz, this is known as very low frequency and from 30 to 300 kilohertz is known as low frequency. So VLF and LF. And these frequencies are actually used in maritime radio communication. So what we have this maritime communication, actually this is a communication, sorry, ma mari, uh, marine communications. And this involves uh, maritime and many marine communication. So this is a communication which involves ship to ship and ship to shore communications. So for example, here we have different ships here. So this ship may be communicating with this ship and this ship may be communicating somewhere else. And these all ships may be communicating at the shore at the boundary of the air. So they may also be communicating someone here. So this all communication involving these ships is known as uh, maritime uh, radio communication. And these are the frequency ranges which are mostly used for that purpose. So it's very low frequency and low frequency. So then we have this uh, range that is from 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz that is known as medium frequency 
and that medium frequency is used for commercial AM broadcasting. And this is also same, this high frequency that is from three megahertz to 30 megahertz, almost for same kind of application. So that is maybe AM broadcasting. AM stands for amplitude modulation. So AM broadcasting. And these are uh, the waves, uh, these are the signals which are actually reflected by uh, and this, uh, uh, these are the ion spheres. So they are reflected by ion sphere. So what happens here, for example, as this, what is that uh, ion sphere? So ion sphere is the ionized part of the Earth upper spot atmosphere from 60 kilometers to around 1000 kilometers. So as an illustration, for example, this is our Earth. This is Earth, I don't know how to draw, but this is Earth, I mean, this is Earth, and there is altitude, just we go upside, and from 60 kilometers, so from 60 kilometers to 1000 kilometers, this is a part. So this is a part in its atmosphere that is above our Earth. This part is known as ionosphere. So ionosphere is this part. And these are the frequencies. So for example, and this is, I may, let me make this Earth bigger. On this Earth, we have a satellite, for example, or sorry, we have a dish antenna, for example, here. We can have dish antenna. And if we transmit using this dish antenna and using this, uh, frequency, then this signal will strike this ionosphere and they will be reflected back. So kind of mirror, a natural mirror is available there that is known as ionosphere and this is going to receive and reflect back those signals on the earth. So that is the ionized part of the earth and these frequencies are these signal having these frequencies have the property that they are reflected back on the earth uh, by this ionosphere. Okay, so and uh, actually this is helpful. You see, if if I'm somewhere in maybe in one country, I can use this ionosphere maybe on some some uh, some specific part of the world. And then, if I want to send my data on this point, then I can use this ionosphere. I will just direct that to ionosphere, and this will reflect back again on the Earth. And that will be my destination. So this way, this is this ionosphere is very helpful uh, in communication. And then we have some frequency ranges which start from 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz, and those are known as VHF, very high frequency. And these frequencies are used in VHF television, FM radio. So FM means frequency modulation. And these frequencies are known as a line of sight. So radio, uh, sorry, television. And uh, exactly the same way, we also have UHF or ultra high frequency that starts from 300 megahertz to three gigahertz. And that's also for uh, television. So we have VHF channel, we have UHF channel. So these means they are actually using different kinds of frequencies. So the UHF and VHF, these both frequencies can be used for uh, this uh, television. And the UHF is also used for mobile communication. So like we have these uh, 2G, 3G, 4G. So they also are using some specific frequencies and they come in this category that is 300 to 3 gigahertz, that is UHF. In addition to that, they are also used for Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi are also using the frequency which comes in this category that is up uh, to three gigahertz. So one of the bands used by Wi-Fi is in this, that is 2.4. So if you remember, this is a 2.4. That is by Wi-Fi, okay? And for mobile, I think GSM was in 900 and 1800, we, we had multiple bands. So these are the frequencies used for mobile communications and Wi-Fi. And then we have this super high frequency that is SHF from three gigahertz to 30 gigahertz that is being used by satellite communications. In addition to that, 
the Wi-Fi that 5 megahertz band also comes there so Wi-Fi is also using this so Wi-Fi is using this band as well as this band so SHF as well as UHF so these are different ranges for that and one final range is an extremely high frequency that is from 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz and that is being used by satellite communication and radio astronomy. Radio astronomy means we just want, we were exchanging or we are sending some data to stars or, or taking some pictures or whatever signals uh, so whatever communication is going on in, in astronomy, uh, astronomy. So astronomy is also using that same. Uh, so this extremely high frequency is being used by that thing to say. So these were the uh, different frequencies ranges for radio frequency signals which we are using for different applications. And uh, if you are interested in mobile. And if you are interested in Wi-Fi or we are interested in satellites, so we should be uh, able to understand the characteristics of these uh, different frequency ranges. So as we discussed, like in line of sight, line of sight means the transmitter and the receiver. So for example, if I say this is the transmitter and receiver, they should actually see each other. They should see each other means they their height should be equal so that these signals should travel straight to the receiver. If there will be some blockage, then communication will not be successful. And there are some of the ways which actually don't, don't uh, need such kind of arrangement. They don't need line of sight. Okay. So there are some of the ways which are reflected by ionosphere. So these are reflected by ionosphere, but there are some of the ways which are not reflected by that. So it means if there is ionosphere, this is our Earth, this ionosphere, some of the waves can be reflected back. But there are some of the waves having specific frequency, they will just penetrate or they will just pass. This, this, they will cross the ionosphere. They don't obey that. So it means in different application, we should be able to uh, um, identify their different characteristics as well. So we will discuss those characteristics maybe in some other video. But uh, thank you, thank you very much for your time for this uh, basic video on radio frequency uh, allocation.